Hi everyone, welcome back to Jax's Lego Stacks and Hacks. Today I will be showing you how I review my Lego Harry Potter minifigures. So, first I just want to show you that I used um, a thin base plate with no connecting at the bottom. And it goes all the way over to there. And the back is actually cardboard box. So, over here I started painting it a little bit. I covered it up. But... I started painting a little bit, and I didn't like how it was turning out and how it was looking. So, I decided to just kind of color over with the right color Sharpie that I had. But if you guys have the right color paint and you like a different color than I do, then paint. I looked up the Harry Potter logo, printed it, and I cut it out and glued it onto the middle part. And... Then I also printed out the Source of Stone because that was the first movie. It was in black and white. Yes, it didn't turn out right, but I'm fine with that. Especially since the old background is blue and that movie's blue. I didn't really think, but I'm okay with that. And then I printed out the Lego symbol and cut it out. I also just cut out a little piece of paper and drew Harry's scar on it with a marker. So... That's the back logo, but, so, I'm going to show you the back. The back is not painted. This always falls off, but, so, the back is not painted, but, it's a, <laughs> butter cardboard box, so, I, yeah, I used a butter cardboard box from, I think you can see where, but, um, so, we have just a bunch of big pieces of wall in Lego that I used so that this didn't fall backwards, and, yeah, I just have a bunch of roofs down here, and then some blue down there, and on this side of it, Bring it down a little bit. On that part of it, as you can see, so I left an open space in the studs. And I just slid the cardboard through it. It has to be like, like how I used the butter package. It has to be a thin piece of cardboard. I also refer taping that back on both sides to the Lego piece because it always flaps for me, but... I'll do that later, um, but yeah, so I leave the open stud, and then on the next stud up, I put um, a little one by, or two by two stud, and it went over this, it was a thin two by two stud, but it went over that, and now that's kind of like, yeah, it comes out, but it's kind of trapped in there, unless you pull that, but you hold it from the bottom, I mean, if anyone were to hold it from the bottom, I don't know what to tell them. So, that's how you make it. Let's get on to all the okay, minifigures so the I have. We're going to start off with this Hermione over here. So, the Hermione minifigure. The Ron minifigure, oh yeah, and I forgot to say with Hermione, you can find these minifigures in the Hagrid's Hut set. The Dumbledore, this one you can find in the Great Hall. I am going to be honest with you, I don't actually have the Great Hall, but I ordered Dumbledore off of Amazon. What? So there that's Dumbledore. are two Harrys, you can get one I got one in Hagrid's Hut and one in the Night Bus. You can also get one in Expecto Patronum. We have Snape. You can get Snape in the Whomping Willow. I'm not sure about any other sets. We have the Minister of Magic, who is exclusive to the Hagrid's Hut set. We have Ronald Weasley, who comes in... Well, this version comes in... The 
Hogwarts Express and Aragog Slayer, but I got him off Amazon. We have Ron Weasley again from the Hogwarts Whomping Willow set, and I'm pretty sure that he's exclusive to that. We have two Hermione Grangers, which comes in the Great Hall set. And the Whomping Willow set, I bought one of them off Amazon, and then I got the Whomping Willow, so that's Hermione Granger. We have Granger. Harry Potter from the Whomping Willow set, and he is, well, this version of him is exclusive to that set, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we have Harry Potter again. This version comes in the Great Hall, and... Again, I just bought this one off Amazon, but I will be doing a review of the Great Hall soon, so... Next up, we have Seamus Finnegan. Seamus Finnegan comes in the Hogwarts Whomping Willow set, and I'm pretty sure he's exclusive to that. Yay! My favorite character! Hagrid! Hagrid comes in the Great Hall, Hagrid's hot, and I'm pretty sure it's some more, but... Hagrid's just one of my favorite characters. Now we have that ex executioner. I'm not knowing how to pronounce his name, but he comes in the Hagrid's Hut set and is exclusive to that set, I'm pretty sure. We have Filch, who comes in the Hogwarts Whomping Willow set, so I'm pretty sure he's exclusive to that set. Now we have Stan, and Stan comes in the Night Bus set, and he is exclusive to that set. Then we have Ernie, who also comes in the Night Bus set, and Ernie is also exclusive to that set. We're done with humans, but now we have got Hedwig. Hedwig's on a stand I made by myself with a goblet and a little 4x4 four four piece, but with a one stud in the middle. Um, yeah, Hedwig comes in a bunch of sets, and in 2018 and 2019, he had his closed-up wings, like how I have them right here. But in the 2020s, he actually has some open wings, so I'm looking forward to that seeing that. That was my only scene. animal. But now we have the stands, which I got from the characters that were on Amazon. So, let's see. What characters belonged there? Dumbledore, Harry, and Hermione. As you guys can probably see, I had to move Harry and Dumbledore off to the sides of the stand so that Hermione could go in between them. Those were the stands. So guys, I'm going to show you step by step how to make the stand. I'm not going to show you how to make the cardboard part because you guys don't have to do Harry Potter. Um, You can do Harry Potter, Star Wars, my two favorite themes. Harry Potter, Star Wars, um... You guys can do, I don't know, DC superheroes, Disney, do anything you want. But you can make the cardboard ha by yourself. So, um, you use this kind of base plate, this long, unless you want to use half of that, but then you use only half the pieces, if you know what I mean. So, I'm just going to show you guys how to build this so we're gonna go
Now that was how I make my minifigure stand. Now all that's next is the minifigures. My Ron, Dumbledore, Harry one, two, Snake, Miss Fear of Magic, Ron one, one two, Miney one, Miney two, Harry one, Harry two, Miss Finnegan, Hagrid, Executioner, Stan, Ernie, Phil, the stands, Edwig, and all the hats. So that was how I made my Harry Potter minifigure stand with my hats and my head wig. And if you guys didn't notice, I'm not sure if I said this earlier in the video. I don't think I did. But just in case I didn't, I made three spaces here for three minifigures I've been planning on buying separately or maybe getting just the series. I'm not sure yet, but you guys should tell me at some point um, after I make my Instagram page, which should be up in um, a couple days. So I would like you to tell me, should I just get Voldemort, Moaning Myrtle, and Dobby? Or should I just get the whole series one and the whole series two? You guys can choose, but thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hit that little notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.